Hello everybody, welcome to the old golden black. For this new type of video, it's a predicted 11 video, not a video that I've made before because I can't really, well, it's been easy to predict, there hasn't been much content from it, but I think at the moment there's a little bit of discussion, a little bit of, a few questions raised about the team and a few positions perhaps that are up for question, but basically I think the team that I've gone for here on my little tactical whiteboard here is pretty much the team that finished the game against Newcastle and and that played against uh, Chelsea in that fantastic win last week. I think it's going to be quite straightforward. I think it'll be Patricio, Bennett, Cody, Bolly as the defence. Doherty and Vinagre, although it has been mentioned today uh, by Nuno that Johnny is been training and that all the players are available for this weekend. So that does suggest that Johnny's closer to fitness than we first thought. But I think Vinagre played quite well against Newcastle and against Chelsea. and He's growing into that role and I would like to see him carrying on playing for a couple more weeks. Perhaps next week with the Liverpool game, if Johnny's fully fit, with the defensive threat that we're going to have from Mo Salah down that side, perhaps we might see Johnny coming in for that game there. Doherty, obviously, without question, he's only missed one game under Nuno so far, and that was due to suspension back in April against uh, Hull. Then the midfield, I've actually dropped Neves, purely because I think he's, he's not in the best run of form at the moment. I think... We've seen him play so well in the cha championship because of the time and the space that he has on the ball. But he's found it difficult to do that in the Premier League. So I would go for Cesar Moutinho, the same midfield partnership that started the game uh, last Wednesday against Chelsea. Purely because Cesar's muscle and sort of rough and tumble and readiness has been really, really effective in the, in the championship and against championship style teams. Which I do kind of feel that Bournemouth are a little bit, I think they'll try and do that to us like Huddersfield and Watford did and turn our midfielders around so that they're facing at their own goal. That's where we've seen Neves and Moutinho lose their effectiveness and I think that's why Saiz has to play tomorrow. Alongside Moutinho I would say he obviously came out of the game uh, on Sunday against Newcastle was rested a little bit, came on for the last few minutes or so. But just that experienced head in midfield and hopefully Sace will be able to allow him to be a little bit more creative and pass forward a little bit more, uh, which we've seen him struggle doing a lot uh, in those sort of tough games at home. I think it's really important that Morgan Gibbs-White starts the game on Saturday against Bournemouth. He's a really, really exciting talent. We saw how good he was against Chelsea. We saw then how uh, effective he can be with uh, through balls and with his movement, he's very, very confident on the ball. He was able to turn top top players like uh, Kante. And I think he's offering that little bit of cohesion between midfield and attack that we've lacked in those in those defeats that we've had at home recently. If you look at my formation, I've got Gibbs White slightly further forward than the other two because I think that's kind of what happened in the Chelsea game. He wasn't right up in the front three. He was sort of connecting the, the two, which which is important. I think if when we've got possession, he needs to be joining that front three. And when we haven't, he needs to be getting back and working hard and, and winning the ball back. But Jimenez and Jota, for me, have, have to start together. The two players that are in quite good form, goal-scoring-wise, both have scored in the last couple of games. Jota, in particular, is in the form of, his, of the season so far. We saw him really, really struggle. And hopefully, that's the same sort of spell that Neves is going through, and Costa a little bit as well, who just sort of overthinking things and not panicking but just not taking their time on the ball and and trying to do things too quickly i think jota had a little quite a spell out of the team was able to watch a lot of football watch wolves struggle and then has come back in a fantastic vein of form particularly against newcastle i thought he looked really really strong connecting with van Agre down that left hand side really well hopefully he can do that again and expose some of uh, Bournemouth's weaknesses in defence that we saw in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Let me know your thoughts on the team selection. Do you think Nuno is going to change it from the starting eleven? Obviously the players that we miss out from last week would be Costa and Traore um, and Neves. I think Neves is an interesting talking point at the moment because he's clearly not in form. Um, but I think we can, we can see the quality that's there. He just needs that little bit of belief, which I'm sure he'll get. He's a top, top player. Anyway... Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and drop any comments in the section down below. I'll see you next time.